Okay, I wanted to show an alternate location for mounting my radio box. I've got one without the radio board in it just to show for clarification or easy installation. In the install videos, you would place this piece of Velcro against the bottom of the generator control unit right here. And of course that's got the sticky back tape. You pull that off first. Stick the sticky side to the bottom of this. And then place the radio just like this. And you'll notice that the radio does stick out. Shoot it from this angle. You'll notice that the radio sticks up further than the box, but it doesn't stick up above the uh, um, ferrite core or above the mother harness or anything else. If you don't feel comfortable mounting it in that location or choose not to mount it in that location for some reason, you can take the Velcro and stick it right here by these three uh, wire retainers and then mount the box right here with the wiring harness coming up and around the ignition switch. I have made the new wiring harnesses three inches longer so that they are long enough to reach the extra area coming up around the ignition switch and so forth. In fact, I'll feed one through there so you can see it clearly. <coughs> With the Velcro in this location, the wiring harness can run up and around the ignition switch. The main harness will run down here and plug into the other side of this. This would be for the uh, economy mode, and that hooks up to the back of the economy mode switch. And everything else is the same as it is in the original instructions. This is simply an alternate location. So you'd take apart the front of the cabinet based on the original video and then whenever you get to the box, if you choose not to locate it here, you can locate it here now. It's your choice.